Hi guys, Samantha from Dressing My Tutorials here, and welcome to day three of the Crackleathon. So today we are going to I'm going to show you how to crackle using just polymer clay, and we are going to be drying it out to create a crackle. So I've got some Cernet Champagne over here. Um, Cernet Metallic Champagne Gold and I run it through on the thinnest setting of my pasta machine. Then you will take some pieces of plain printing paper and rub that over the surface of your clay and then I'm going to run that through my pasta machine again. Now when you run it through the pasta machine you might need to pull the paper through a little bit because the pasta machine doesn't grip onto it very well. But run it through on the thinnest setting. Okay. Then just give it a good burnish after you've done that. And then leave that for roughly 12 to 24 hours. Now I've already got one done over here. And this was a while back. Um, probably about, it's probably about 12 hours old. And there we are. So it's quite dry. Now put that to the side and prepare your um, clay that's going to be going underneath. Okay, so I've got a piece of black that has been rolled out on my thicker setting of my pasta machine, which is about uh, two millimeters thick, and this ultimately is about zero point four millimeters thick. So then we're going to take that, and the longer you've left your clay, the drier it will be, and the better the crackle will be. I'd say the minimum is about 12 hours. Okay, I'm just going to burnish that onto there. Okay. And now keep in mind with this dry clay, I'm just using one solid colour, but you can use any uh, colour you want. You could use a marker shift, you could use Makume Gane, you could use canes. So, again, this technique, you can use it basically with anything. You want it doesn't necessarily have to just be one solid color of clay. Okay, so you can see the the difference between the two layers. Now I'm going to run that through on my thickest setting of my pasta machine. And now you can see it's starting to crackle. That creates a really interesting crackle. Now I don't really want it to um, lift up off of the clay. So if it does do that, grab a piece of clay paper, plain printing paper and just burnish it down onto the clay again because it just has not stuck as well it should as it should there we are okay and I'm going to run that through again on the thicker setting again just to make sure that I've rolled it out okay and now I've rolled it through from this side to this side and I'm going to be going the opposite direction one setting down See, we're starting to get those crackles. I'm again going to roll in that direction, one setting down. And you can see that. And now I generally will stop about now and I will start to hand crack it. And this creates a completely different crackle than the heat gunned ones, the um, isopropyl alcohol ones, uh, any that you do with um, inclusions. So each of these techniques that I'm going to be showing you throughout the month are. Um, they're, they're, they're not all producing the same crackled effect. They're all quite different from one another. And the nice thing about this is if you mess it up, although there are two different colours, um, it means that you have no baked clay, you've just got dry clay. So if you mix it straight back in, um, you won't have any negative effects. You'll be able to just use it straight again as leftover clay. Okay, and then I always like to give it a burnish just to make sure that it's stuck onto the surface properly. Like so. Okay, and that creates a really interesting crackle. You can see on the back here that the um crackle is quite hard so you'll, you'll find that there's a bit of a weird difference between the soft clay and the hard clay you'll find that texture wise and now remember you can stretch it as much as you want to create larger smaller cracks it's completely up to you 
but that's a, another crackle variation. So I hope that that was helpful to you. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. And again, be sure to check out the previous days uh, in the Crackleathon, as there have been a few crackles so far. Um, and also be sure to uh, stick around every day this month, as I'll be doing a different crackle every single day for the whole of this month. So let me know uh, what you think of each of those crackles as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.